Hey, digital nomads and freelancers, let's find your next home base in the USA. But which city tops the list? Stick around to find out. Choosing the right city to set up your digital nomad base is a personal decision, and it depends on what you value most in a living and working environment. Let's jump into my breakdown of the best places for digital nomads in the USA. So, let's get started. Let's start with Columbus in Ohio. Columbus might not be as well known as some of the other cities on this list, but it's quickly becoming a favorite among digital nomads and for good reason. First off, it's incredibly affordable. The average rent is around $1,105 per month, plus the cost of living in general is lower. Additionally, short-term rentals are generally not expensive. The average price for a dorm room is $49, while a private room will set you back about $132. If you're looking for the cheapest hostel, Check out the Wayfaring Bucky Hostel, where you can stay for just $52.50. It has a growing tech scene. The city is also home to numerous co-working spaces like Industrious, Versa, and The Perch. There are plenty of networking events, meetups, and community gatherings where you can connect with like-minded individuals. It's also a great city for foodies. Be sure to check out the North Market. For those who enjoy the outdoors, Columbus has plenty to offer as well. The Scioto Mile is a great place, it's a network of parks and trails along the Scioto River. The city's public transportation system is also great. Moving on to Salt Lake City, Utah. Salt Lake's place on this list doesn't come as a surprise to me since it's close to so many states, especially California, and has a great way of life. Nestled against the backdrop of the stunning Wasatch Mountains, Salt Lake City is an ideal destination for digital nomads who crave a mix of urban amenities and outdoor adventures. When it comes to work, the city has plenty of options. There are numerous co-working spaces like the shop, impact hub, and church and state. You can do all kinds of things outside and in nature. The city is just a short drive away from some of the best skiing, hiking, and outdoor recreation in the country. El Cido Sea has become known as Silicon Slopes because so many tech companies have moved there. The average rent right now is $1,761 per month. The city also has a reliable public transportation system, including buses and a light rail, which makes getting around a breeze. Next up is Houston, Texas. Now, it's the fourth most populous city in the US, but it is still cheaper than most other big cities. Known for having a lot of different cultures living together, a strong economy, and lots of fun things to do. When it comes to working, Houston has no shortage of co-working spaces. Spots like the Work Lodge, Woolwork, and Station Houston offer great environments for productivity and networking. And if you prefer working from a cafe, there are plenty of coffee shops with excellent Wi-Fi where you can set up your laptop and get to work. The city is home to over 300 parks, including the massive Herman Park. And if you're into water activities, the Gulf of Mexico is just a short drive away. When you rent an apartment, you can expect to pay about $1,072 per month for a studio and $1,167 for a one-bedroom apartment. Houston is also a food lover's paradise. From Tex-Mex and barbecue to Vietnamese and Ethiopian, don't forget to check out the city's many food trucks and farmer's markets. Next up on the list is Nashville, Tennessee. If you like live music, and who doesn't? Nashville is the best place to be. As the country music capital of the world, Nashville is an incredibly vibrant and welcoming place for digital nomads. It's one of the cheaper choices on this list. The nightlife here is fantastic with countless bars, restaurants, and live music venues to explore. It's famous for its hot chicken and southern dishes. There are numerous co-working spaces like Woolwork, Industrious, and The Lab. Average rent is about $1,525 per month for a studio, $1,648 for a one-bedroom apartment, and there are almost 20% more rental options now than there were at this time, last year. If Nashville is on your list, you should move quickly. And if you need a weekend getaway, the Great Smoky Mountains are just a short drive away. Next, let's head down to Portland, Oregon. It's known for its quirky culture, craft beer, and a strong sense of community. If you're looking for a city with a laid-back vibe and a lot of character, Portland should be at the top of your list. When it comes to lifestyle, it's the best for foodies and outdoor enthusiasts. With easy access to the Columbia River Gorge, Mount Hood, and the Oregon coast, the city is also known for its bike-friendly streets, making it easy to get around without a car. 
There are numerous co-working spaces like Central Office, WeWork, and LoopNet that encourage people to be creative and work together. The average apartment rent is $1,711, and you can still see staunch supporters of quirkiness going around town with Keep Portland Weird stickers. Next up is Seattle and Washington, known for its lush greenery and tech scene. The city is home to tech giants like Amazon and Microsoft. It's not just about work, though. The city is a haven for coffee lovers with countless coffee shops like the original Starbucks and local favorites like Cafe Veda. These spots are perfect for getting some work done while enjoying a cup of joe. If you need a change of scenery, there are plenty of co-working spaces like Woodwork in the River, as well as networking events like Seattle Startup Week. Even though it's a bit more expensive here, this city is still a better deal than popular spots like Los Angeles or San Francisco. As of now, the average rent is $2,026 per month. It's not far to get to Olympic National Park in Mount Rainier. All right, let's talk about San Francisco in California. I know what you're thinking. Isn't San Francisco super expensive? Well, you're right. And it's not just about the Golden Gate Bridge. The cost of living here is pretty high, with the average rent for a one-bedroom apartment hovering around $3,300 per month. It's a tech hub like no other. Home to Silicon Valley, this city is the epicenter of innovation and entrepreneurship. The city boasts numerous co-working spaces like Woolwork, Galvanize, and the trendy workshop cafes, plus with events like TechCrunch Disrupt and countless meetups. The public transport system, including the iconic cable cars and BART, makes getting around the city a breeze. Next is Chicago, the Winnie City. This place has it all. A vibrant urban landscape, a rich cultural heritage, and a booming tech scene. Chicago's internet speeds are top-notch, making it a great place to work remotely. And the tech scene is thriving, with numerous co-working spaces like 1871 in Surcourt, or a cozy cafe in Wicker Park. Plus, you can hop on the L train and get just about anywhere in the city. The city is famous for its deep dish pizza to food truck delicacies. From the Art Institute of Chicago to the historic Navy Pier, there's always something to see and do. The average rent for a one-bedroom apartment is around $2,000 per month. Renting an apartment, expect to pay about $1,472 per month for a studio and $1,841 for a one-bedroom apartment. Second on the list is Denver and Colorado. If you're looking for a place where you can balance work and play, Denver should be at the top of your list. Colorado Biz also said that Denver is the best city in the U.S. so you can enjoy the city without worrying. Nestled against the backdrop of the Rocky Mountains, Denver offers breathtaking views and endless outdoor activities. The cost of living here is pretty reasonable too. The average rent for a one-bedroom apartment is about $1,995 per month. Not bad, right? There are also many cheap places to stay, whether you want to switch between hotels, rent, or stay in an airman and with plenty of co-working spaces like Galvanize and Shift workspaces. Safety is another big plus. Denver has been rated as one of the safest cities in the US. Denver International Airport is one of the busiest in the world, making it easy to travel in and out for business or pleasure. Have you ever tried a Denver omelet? You should. Plus, there are plenty of craft breweries. Denver is actually known as the Napa Valley of beer. Cheers to that. Austin in Texas comes in first. This city is quickly becoming the mecca for digital nomads. Why? Well, for starters, Austin has a reputation for being quirky, creative, and tech-savvy. It's no wonder people refer to it as the Silicon Hills. A lot of people from California are moving there to find cheaper homes, a lower cost of living, and lower or no state taxes, just like in Nevada and Florida. With sunny weather almost all year round, and has excellent public transport, with numerous co-working spaces like WeWork and Impact Hub, and let's not forget the internet speed is super fast and reliable. Now, let's talk numbers. It costs about $1,248 a month to rent for a studio and $1,449 for a one-bedroom apartment. Zillow says that Austin will be one of the most popular places to buy a home in the whole country. Move quickly if Austin is on your shortlist. Plus, you can grab some of the best barbecues in the country without burning a hole in your pocket. Ever tried Austin's slow-cooked barbecues? They're legendary. If you happen to be a local in any of these cities, please share your thoughts and experiences with me in the comments section. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update.